Hello and welcome back to Universe Sandbox 2. So just on a side note, out of school, so lots of videos coming your way. Hopefully you guys have time to watch them about 10 times. And I mean each video that comes out, I want you to watch it 10 times. Because that would be really supportive and awesome. And if you also send it to everyone on the internet to get it more popular, that would be great too. Of course, that's not really possible but we're going to ignore the technicalities of this so yeah studying for finals is done school is done i'm feeling great and so it is time to make a new video and there's a suggestion that one person has been lobbing at me about 500,000 times a day i'd say it's a kind of silly suggestion but we're going to be throwing wait no we're not throwing anything this time Oh geez, um, no, we're going to be terraforming, that's not the most common thing we do, but we're going to be terraforming the sun. Now, I immediately was a little bit skeptical, because, you know, the sun, where would it get its heat from? It's the sun, once we terraform the sun, it's no longer a star, then where's this other, uh, Where's the sun going to get its heat from so that it doesn't freeze? And the solution is we're going to cheat. So, <laughs> that's my dog playing with her toy. Um, so, let's see if my cheaty method of getting this to work works. So first off, we have to shrink the sun a little bit so that it's no longer undergoing nuclear fusion. Because when things are undergoing nuclear fusion, it's hard to live on them. It's kind of warm. So, if we shrink it just a little bit more. And we are down to a gas giant. Now let's change this out of a gas giant by throwing it into silicon mode. I expected something a little bit more to happen there. Also, I have great news. I have insurance now. Um... In any case, any meteors fall on my house within the next five billion years. Uh, a very certain painting will understand that. Wait, no. I don't know if they saw that part of the comment. I'm talking about a comet chain going on on one of Dodge the Mall's video. It's one of the best comet chains I've been in. Okay, guys, so we're going to have to shrink this down just a tiny bit more. Just a little bit more. Come on. Not too much more. I keep saying that, but it's going to be a while. There we go. And this is the biggest we can get it. And it's maintaining a very constant heat, probably because of its size. Um, That's actually good for us. Because although this water won't form, if we give it some time to cool down more. Question. Sun is gone. Where is this light coming from? There is a problem. It's coming from this direction, which I guess means it's... I don't know. Obviously, the game, if there's no star in the simulation, it turns on a directional light so that you can see. And I'm mad because I don't want to see. So we're going to... Uh, we'll keep that on because why not? It's funny. We have... Um, realistic mode on the sun, even though we're turning it into a planet. So this will be the most realistic planet we ever make. Okay, let's turn up the organics. Because those do something, definitely. And that seems good. So the only slight problem with this is because it's the sun, it won't actually get a uh, atmosphere or anything. But that is technically... I kind of just blew into the microphone there, sorry. This is technically the closest we're going to get to terraforming the sun. So congratulations, guys. This is the sun terraformed. And now, as always, we're going to be shooting something. Oh, jeez. I expected that to be a little bit more exciting. You really, really need to turn down that time step. So, guys, uh, let's do one more thing. Hmm. No, let's terraform another star just because, you know, why not? Although, it's pretty much going to be the entire same thing that we just did. 
Let's, uh... How about we make a binary star system? And we have Earth. Orbit around them and see if we can get Earth to survive in a binary star system. Oh, we can't choose which one to orbit. Uh, well, let's quickly go view, habitable zone, and bam. Let's see how that... So I think we've learned from that experience that you do not put two suns that close together, or any star for that matter. Um, my sigh, that was so sad. I was so ready to see what was going to happen, and then they just exploded, ruining my dreams. Ruining my hopes and dreams. We'll make them go a bit further out this time. Oh! Don't double click. <laughs> okay. Take three, I am confident we can do this correctly. Oh, please tell me it's actually recording my mic this time. Yes, it is, because last time it wasn't, and that was a mess. I changed my sound settings so that my microphone stopped dropping out, but at the same time, I uh, messed some stuff up. So, you know... <laughs> It reset all of my profiles for different games, my sound setting. Oh, why? Oh, I know what happened. The earth actually threw the balance off. Oh, the earth threw it off. So I don't think this is unless. Okay, this is getting a little bit crazy now, but we're going to make it two earths. One on each side and then they'll balance it out. Question mark. It won't be perfect, but maybe it'll balance it out just enough. Just enough. So what we'll do is... Oh, jeez. No, get out of chart mode. Get out of chart. Get out. Get out. Okay. So, view. So, and we're going to go... This is slightly closer, so we're going to make this one go slightly past that mark. There we go. So that should be balanced. It may not be perfect, but we'll see. So are we ready? Go. Oh, come on. They just lose everything, all of their momentum because of Earth. I even like, re oh, there's a third. Why are there three? Oh, I must have accidentally placed a third. It apparently doesn't matter though, because these uh, suns are just suiciding no matter what I do. So, goodbye world. It was nice knowing you. So it hasn't quite hit Earth yet. The end of the world. It's pretty bright though. At this point, I think you would really notice something's wrong, considering this is moving at the speed of light pretty much we're going to be hit very very soon as people pointed out before it takes eight minutes for the light from the sun to reach earth so we can expect uh i mean supernovas travel fast not quite that fast though so it looks like it's been it's probably been like a few hours but it's traveled pretty far and earth is now just beginning to get hit by the edge at this point we'd all have cancer so um even if the world hasn't melted yet we're all pretty much doomed radiation sickness cancer you know all that fun stuff that comes along with gamma rays so continuing now we are getting hit by the huge really dangerous part which isn't actually doing much either towards the center what's going on it's not even heating up earth what's happening i'll heat up earth here we go oh god the lag jeez well apparently supernovas aren't running too well right now probably because my quality is at like max settings video 
put something to extreme somewhere or something. Yeah, I'm being called. I I promise I will pick that up in a second or so. Um. Hey, what's happening? Where was it? There was a setting. Oh, it's probably, it's here. There we go. Hey, if we set it to very low, it runs fine. No, extreme. You can do this, computer, I believe in you. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. That was pretty interesting. Um, Don't worry, there's going to be a lot more content coming out. I just don't have too much time at the moment because I have stuff to do. Um, also, I want to thank you all on reaching 6,000 subscribers. It's a big milestone. I want to hit 20,000 by the end of the summer. That may seem like a high hope, but we got 1,000 this month compared to 600 last month, which means if we double again, and then again, and then again, we can do this. So, if everyone told two of their friends about this channel, then they all told two of their friends. It would go pyramid scheme, and everyone knows pyramid schemes work. Also, on Social Blade, I am now a B minus uh, score instead of a C plus. That's huge. Round of applause for this channel doing so well, even when facing a uh, very, uh, a very. I don't know what to say about the YouTube community, but I'm going to say. A very non-accepting community to newcomers <laughs> and if you guys want to make a YouTube channel and you're worried I say go for it because what's the worst that could happen other than hate comments hate videos leafy is here making a video on you and your life being ruined forever that's it that's all that could happen so I suggest you go ahead follow your dreams <laughs> And never take my advice. Leave a like and subscribe, and if you don't, you will not get, um... <sighs> what, uh, what'll happen? Um, if you don't like and subscribe right now, a supernova will go off in your room. Okay? You don't want that. The radiation itself. It'll give your skin a nice healthy glow. Okay, bad jokes. Goodbye.